Yo guys, in this video we're going to be heading into modular territory and taking a look at Turing machines and other random source generators that you can use to create generative uh, melody content for your tracks. Let's check these out. Right, so another way I like to generate sort of randomized generative melodies and uh, different ideas is uh, through modular and particularly sort of random sources inside of modular. Now, if you're not into modular, uh, or if you're not, uh, you never really programmed a modular synth, it's, it's a lot more scary. It looks a lot more scary than what it actually is. Um, so I'm going to kind of just run through this uh, patch with you. We'll go from scratch and uh, just build this up. So the whole premise of this is to kind of use random sources in a controlled way to generate uh, melodic content for you that's constantly changing. Um, it won't repeat itself, but it will always follow a set, set number of rules so that it always fits into scales and timing and so on. Uh, so I'm going to show you two different ways to do this um, inside of Voltage Modular. And this can apply to Reactor and um, uh, Softube Modular as well, any sort of modular system, even something like Falcon um, with the options to root stuff wherever you want. You can kind of do similar things. Um, but I'm going to just show you in Voltage. It's kind of my... Uh, modular of choice at the moment so hooking these things up it's not as complicated as what you think it is uh, we're just going to add some oscillators like you would have in a normal synth uh, we'll add those two in we're going to need an amplifier for each of these uh, we'll just put those there we can just hold down alt and copy in voltage modular um, we're also going to need a envelope just to open and close the amplifier because we're going to trigger the whole sequence with a note. So we'll bring in our envelope generators. And yeah, so th this we can basically test this now. We'll use the pitch in and we'll just connect the pitch. So this is basically our MIDI keyboard is going to set which note the bass note is for each oscillator. Uh, we can test this as well if we just run this to the output. So there we're getting a triangle wave, which we'll probably use triangle for this. And there's a delay on this uh, externally in Cubase. Um, so let's run the triangle wave into our amplifiers. And the gates, which is going to be the key that's being pressed, is going to trigger the envelope. So when the key is down, the envelope will be open. And when it's not, the envelope will be closed and you won't hear any sound. So we're going to need to disconnect the envelope to the CV or the mod input for the amps. So this is basically what's going to turn it on and off when we play our key. Uh, let's just quickly add a mixer. This is fairly self-explanatory. And let's just put, we'll use a stereo mixer. It doesn't make a difference. Shimano would be fine even. Uh, let's do six input mixer. Obviously, we're just sending the two oscillators to our mixer so that when we play a note, we get signal. Just turn down the volumes for these slightly. And we're going to send this to our master out. So when we play, we get signal. Now the fun part comes uh, syncing this all up to random generators. There's two that I'm going to two methods that I'm going to use. Um, first, in modular land, it doesn't just sync to your DAW automatically. You're going to have to add a sync divider. So you'll send the clock from Cubase into the sync divider, and that's going to be giving you sixteenth notes currently. We're also just going to hook up the play gate to reset this when it starts. Um, now. We're going to use a clock divider as well so that we can have different clock values. So we currently have 16th notes playing there. If we add a clock divider, we can run this into that. It will turn that into eighth notes. We can run into this one. We can turn this into quarter notes or whatever you want. You just divide the uh, clock value by four or by two and it splits out a different clock. You can see that one's moving faster, that one's moving slower. Now we're going to add some random generators here. So uh, the first one I'm going to grab is a Turing machine, which is a semi-random uh, control generator. 
Uh, and this works off a probability. So by setting the probability, that's how probable it will be to trigger a certain uh, control um, and then send it to the output over here. Uh, you're going to need clock coming from here. So that this syncs to everything. Everything needs to be synced up in modular stuff. And you can see there it's now getting its clock value from our divider. And we can dial in some random amounts here. We can change these steps. And the CV range is basically how high the notes are going to go when we output this. If we output this now to the pitch CV here, uh, the problem with this is it's... You can hear it's generating random content, but it's kind of all over the place. So what we need is a quantizer. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to lock the notes to a specific scale. So we'll take the output of this into there. And let's dial in a minor pentatonic scale. And let's copy one of these down as well, because we're going to run a different source through that same thing as well. So now when we connect this to the pitch and we play back our notes, Quite hypnotizing that just having these like constantly random notes being generated all the time. Uh, just to finish that one off, we're going to add a glide module, and glide is pretty much what it says, like in any other synth that has a glide. It just slews the uh, control data slightly so that it smooths everything off. So we'll plug that into the glide and run the output of that into that. <laughs> There we go. So we got our first um, oscillator, but we want to kind of make this a little bit more interesting now and add in a second random oscillator as well that's also going to be playing different notes at different speeds. So the other way to do this in any sort of modular uh, environment is to use noise generator. And we can then add a sample and hold module. So how this works, uh, noise is a random signal anyways, it's, it's noise, it's just kind of uh, different levels all the time, different frequencies. Uh, we're going to plug that into our, uh, actually first what we'll do is uh, add a gain plugin as well. Um, and a tenuverter which will basically just allow us to uh, lower the level of the noise. Uh, so we're going to plug the noise in. We're going to run the output into the input, which is a white noise generator. And now this needs a clock signal as well. So we'll set that to external again. And we're going to run the second clock divider in. So we're getting every, uh, it's divided by four, our clock signal. So this is going to be triggering a lot slower and external trigger there we go so what this does is every time this clock runs it's going to tell the sampler and hold to take whatever level the noise is at and hold that as a control value and then send that out to our quantizer and every time that clock ticks over it's going to grab a new sample from the noise which is going to be a new control level and which is going to generate a different note so we'll plug this output into our quantizer again. We'll set this to our minor pentatonic as well. Into the glide again, and the glide's gonna go to our pitch CV. So let's play this back now and we can take a listen. We're gonna have two notes playing randomly at the same time now. And that'll just continuously generate uh, melodic content for us that's never the same. It just kind of creates and creates and creates. It's constantly evolving all the time. Now, this is a very simple patch. You can take this a lot further, which I'm not going to do in this um, 
in this tech tip, but I mean, this is the basis for how I do sort of generative stuff. Uh, you can start adding in switches and other sequences and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do with this and create like just very complicated uh, but completely random movement in these uh, tones. And um, I like doing this kind of stuff, having a random element that acts as sort of like a texture in a track. Uh, and then adding in obviously sequence stuff that's not random. Uh, it just works so well together to have that contrast playing off one another. So you can take something like this that we've generated now and then maybe bring in a bass line from Anna and some percussion and you'll see what I mean. some drums. You can hear how nicely everything is playing off one another because all those chords are locked in and it's just this kind of chaotic but yet quite beautifully orchestrated sound that comes out of that modular system as well so yeah i'm, I'm really into these kind of generative uh, uh tools that kind of just create stuff for you and um you just kind of set those rules to let it go and create something randomly all the time so yeah uh and Definitely. I mean, modular, talking about stepping outside of your comfort zone, um, this is a great way to just kind of come up with sounds that you normally wouldn't. Uh, I mean, you can just plug anything into anything and really you want to take time to experiment and you can do some amazing stuff with this that uh, you never would have done with any other uh, synthesizer or sequencer for that matter. Cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will catch you again in the next video. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.